Hey ladies, I just wanted to jump on and share with you about home parties um, and what basically what I take to a home party and um, what I use as my tools. So first things first, catalogues, order forms, business cards and the contact cards. Now the contact cards are the ones that you got in your starter kit like this and the reason they are really good is I know a lot of ladies, even I was, um, a bit apprehensive about filling out my details. Oh, am I going to get harassed, etc. However, if you say that this is a raffle, a lucky door prize, and so whoever fills one out gets um, will have their name in the draw to win a sheet of accents or something like that, then they're more likely to fill it out. And it's good because they can choose down the bottom if they're interested in fundraising, joining a team, gift wrap, um, gift certificates, um, having a party, that kind of thing. So it's good, um, it'll help you gauge interest and possibly find people later that you can contact and say, hey, would you like to have a party? Um, now, as for your sample table, on your table where you're going to have the girls trying on wraps, things like that, um, of course you're going to need your mini heater. However, you'll probably have that set up on your display table first. Um, so the things for your sample table, have your samples. Um, I had mine all pre-cut into the individual stickers because that way you can have them sitting in a little container and say everyone, you know, choose one that you like that will go with this polish, lacquer. And that way you're not gonna have ladies taking an entire sheet because otherwise you're gonna run out really, really quickly. Um, the purpose of a home party is for them to try on an accent nail on say one finger each, half sheet, half sticker, and then polish the rest. And then they can see over the seven days how they're going to work. Um, scissors, files, buffers, orange sticks, cuticle pushes, um, and I had placemats for my home party um, so that you're not going to damage the hostess's table at all. I just had little sheets of purple paper like this, but if you've got old catalogues laying around, you could use a double sheet out of an old catalogue and that would make a really good placemat. Um, so then on my display table, I kept it very, very simple. I did have my first home party only a month after I started, so I didn't really have many products in inventory anyway, or for myself. Um, the only thing that was extra was I did have a True Shine Gel enamel system because I wanted one so badly. Um, but to keep it easy, in the last three pages of your catalogue, new catalogue, you have these awesome pages. Now on our Jamboree workstation, we do have the digital version of the catalogue. I popped that on a stick. I went to Officeworks and I asked them to print up each page at A4 size of those three sheets. So I had them laid out on my table like that and it was so good. I laminated them so that I could use them over and over again and it was really handy. Ladies were picking them up, looking at them. It made it a lot easier to go through and um, especially with everything being close to their colours so people can look at things. Now, um, also on my table, this is something very simple, they're a bit squished, they've been in a box, but these are book and pick a prize envelope. So basically it's like the book and pop a prize where people have a balloon with a prize inside and if they book a party at a vendor event, they get to pop a balloon and it might have a free half sheet or something like that. So I had four on the table with ribbon around them. And so if someone booked a party, they got to choose an envelope. And then inside it just had your hostess gift, accent nails, glass file and tools. Um, there was another one that had um, a half sheet of wraps, that kind of thing. I was pretty much stuck to those two kind of things. Um, at the time we didn't have Jamboree glass files, so that's actually just a glass file from the um, $2 shop. Now, 
one key thing that I found was really, really helpful that someone said before I have my party is to not give everyone a catalogue before you do your little speech explaining the products because otherwise you're going to have ladies just sitting there ignoring you and going through the catalogue. So what I did was I had a clipboard like this. These are from Kmart. They cost $2 each. And they actually came with a purple pen, which I stuck an old Jamboree sticker off wraps on. And they also came with... Oh! These notepads. <laughs> so you can... I use them now to write personal notes to every single person I send something to. They've come in really handy. I can't believe I just whacked myself in the face, but I can't be bothered making this video again. So clipboard. On the clipboard I had an order form. I had this which I find really really helpful. Um, it's got everything in packs so it makes it look more enticing for someone to go oh my gosh okay this is everything I need to get me started. It's got your buy three get one free deal, your heater and your application kit with cuticle oil and it's got all you need $122 so I then had these are laminated so I can use them again but I had these printed up on paper and so down the bottom here we have a wish list one two three and free so girls can write their three wraps they like and the one they want for free which comes in really handy um, other products mini heater application kit with cuticle oil, all that kind of thing written down there. Lacquers or gel colours if they were interested in that. Up the top here, choose your bundle. So these are the bundles that we have on here. So if someone was interested in something like this, they can just tick up here. There's also down here, too many on my wish list, let's book a party. Nice and simple. So I had those clipped on my clipboard with a order form. And that is what everyone had first. So they didn't have a catalogue to distract them while I was discussing our products. Um, I found that really helpful. So I also printed those up A4 size as well so that they were on the table um, along with my other laminated sheets. It makes the table look a lot more fuller even though you don't have much product. Um, now, when I did my home party, it was Christmas time, so I put all the Christmas wraps on there, which made it easy. Um, but you could, well, Easter's now, um, otherwise colour of the year, things like that. Just the different wraps, the autism wraps that are coming out, they would be fantastic on there. Um, especially that we are donating $3 Australian from every wrap sold, which is an awesome cause. Um, as some of you know, I have an autistic son, so I am just blown away that Chambry is doing that. Um, I think it's fantastic. Um, now, these are from my wedding. They are place card holders, but I had a couple of these, just something simple, with the sister style. That's an old one. Um, celebration box. Uh, you could have the gel kit there as well if you don't have one to display. Uh, that kind of thing. It helped fill the, ta fill the table out even though it was with images but visuals. That's all it is. They're visuals. Now one thing I did make sure I had was an entire sheet of wraps so that you can explain from one $22 sheet you get two manicures and two pedicures plus a couple of ex extra accent nails. That's about it. It's really quite simple. Um, that's everything that I took to my first home party. I haven't had any since. I've had constant online parties. Um, so yeah, that's just some of the ideas of things that you can take. I may have forgotten a couple of things, um, but there you have it. Okay, good luck girls. Enjoy.